we are departing on our great flight where we will be chasing the eclipse in the air. We started analyzing and preparing this flight with Dr. Schneider two years ago. We took all the details necessary for the flight, the route we're going to take, the minutes we're going to be in the air, and also the position of the airplane that we will be taking in order to have a complete view of the eclipse during those eight minutes in the air. This particular eclipse, I'm particularly looking forward to it being very long. Having nine minutes is a bit of a luxury, so it gives you time to really enjoy it. And sometimes the eclipse goes by so quickly, you don't really have time to feel you're enjoying it. So you get the euphoria, but it goes by too quickly. With this one, I think nine minutes is plenty of time to enjoy the whole experience. One thing about a solar eclipse, it exhibits celestial mechanics, which you don't ordinarily get to see. An eclipse lets you see the motion. What happens is when the moon just touches the edge of the sun, we call that contact point. Then we have what's known as partial phases, when the moon slowly covers the sun. When the moon hits the other side of the sun, that's called contact two. That starts totality. That's when the corona comes out, which is magnificent. make a flag and it's going to have a little more detail on it, some stylized prominences in Corona and all that. And I, I first saw light in 1983 and it's gone to every single eclipse since. So it's been all over the uh, world. Glenn's a very interesting guy. He's one of the absolutely most brilliant people I have ever met in my life. There is nobody on earth who is his equal, literally nobody on earth who is his equal as far as Eclipse. And of course, his passion for chasing an Eclipse is, is rivaled by nobody. He has an extensive career in astronomy and science, and he's a pure scientist. He's an instrument scientist for the Nicholas Modular Hubble Telescope. He is interested in exoplanets. The best tip is just to go and see it, but don't take any pictures, just absorb it. Today I am here to recognize Dr. Glenn Schneider with the Guinness World Records title for the most instances within the moon's umbral shadow. You are officially amazing. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. 